In this lesson, we are going to go through a revision on how to add, subtract, multiply and divide fractions. I have six questions here behind me on the board. So the first question, we have 5 over 8 plus 1 over 3. Now the denominators are different, so we're going to need to make them the same. Now I do have a separate lesson where I go into this in more detail, but for this lesson, I'm just going to go over the basics really, really quickly. So you multiply this across, and then you multiply this with this, and this with that. So what do you have? 8 times 3 is 24, plus... And I have a 24 here, so 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 8 is 8. So now the denominators are the same, just add the top 15 plus 8, which is 23 over 24. Same with this one, we multiply this across, we multiply here, we multiply there. So what do we get? We get 5 times 7, which is 35, and 35 for the second one, 2 times 7 is 14, 5 times 1 is 5. So 14 minus 5 is equal to 9 over 35. When it comes to multiplication, um, we don't need to multiply across and do the cross multiplication. We can do one of two things. We can just multiply the top numerators and the denominators, or we can look to cancel diagonally. So see here, 2 and 8, they have something in similar. They can both be divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Again, with 3 and 15, they have something in common. They can both be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So you end up with 1 over 4 times by 1 over 5. And now you can just multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 5 is 20. So 1 over 20 is our answer. Now with division, um, it's exactly the same as multiplying, but you do one extra step. So let's work here. So you have 3 over 7, you turn this into a multiplication sign, and you flip those. So you end up with 5 over 9. And you look to simplify diagonally. So both of these are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So you end up with 1 times 5, which is 5, and then 7 times 3, which is 21. And that's your final answer. Now with this one, you've got 7 over 10 divided by a whole number, which is 4. Now, what you can do is just make the whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. And you just follow the process as you did up there. So you have 7 over 10 times by 1 over 4. So once again, you try to divide um, diagonally, but here you can see that there's nothing in common, so you're just going to have to multiply across. So 7 times 1 is 7, and 10 times 4 is 40, and that's our final answer. On to this final one, we have mixed numbers, so the first thing we're going to need to do is convert this into a top heavy. So 2 times by 5, which is 10, plus 1 is 11. 11 over 5 minus 1 times by 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so 3 over 2. And we deal with it as we did previously. We want to have the denominators the same. So we're going to multiply here, and then we're going to multiply this, and we're going to multiply that. So 5 times 2 is 10. Hopefully you can see this down here. And then 2 times 11 is 22, and 5 times 3 is 15. So you end up with 22 minus 15, which is 7. 7 over 10 is our answer. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps and supports the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.